Hello and welcome to Dave Makes Stuff. In this episode, good tyre, good tread, was free because it had a really big puncture. So I figured I'd investigate what happens if you try to repair a car tyre with a bicycle puncture repair kit. Probably worth a word of caution before we begin. This tyre is intended to be part of the spare wheel for our off-road Audi TT project. It won't be doing many miles, and in all probability, this wheel will spend most of its life on the back of the vehicle looking pretty. If you're dealing with a vehicle that you rely on as a commuter vehicle or whatever, use your judgement as to whether you want to repair the tyre this way. This is a bit of an experiment. Anyway, there's that out of the way. Let's get to it. We'll use the biggest patch out of this puncture repair kit and some ordinary rubber cement. The rubber cement likes a nice clean dry surface to stick to, so I'm just wiping it out with a handful of rags. And here's the culprit. A nail or a screw has gotten in between the tread blocks and gone through the tyre where it's thinnest. I don't know how long this tyre has been sitting or what its history is, so the next thing I'm going to do is just drill in through the hole just to clean it up, get any dirt out and prepare it for repair. Now I'm going to go inside the tyre and I'm using a wire brush and I need to achieve two things. I need to take these internal ridges down so that there's a flat surface for the patch to stick to and I need to roughen the surface up so that the adhesive can get a good grip. Now that we've got somewhere to stick the patch onto, the next step is to apply the bonding agent. This stuff is actually called vulcanising solution and it melds the patch into the tyre. You could say the tyre assimilates the patch. If you've got any more bad Star Trek jokes, stick them in the comments, or on, on second thoughts, spare us. It's for the best. Anyway, we were doing something. Um, spreading rubber solution out, that was it. I want a thin, even coating, and I've tried to get some inside the hole as well. I'd rather have rubber solution than dirt in there. And then having applied it and spread it out, it just needs to sit for a little while to start to go tacky. And that ensures that the patch then sticks properly. And here's the patch we'll be using. They're usually kept on foil backing, so I've peeled that off. Hope you'll excuse the earthquake here as I press the patch into place. It's surprisingly tricky filming inside a tyre. So now the rubber solution's set, the tyre's been fitted back on the rim, and we can pump it up, and by the magic of YouTube, here it is several days later. No leaks. We'll test it somewhere sensible once the Audi's mobile, but honestly, I'll be really surprised if it misbehaves. That's all for this time. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.